My first guest has a very unique way of doing mind-blowing makeovers in just one weekend. It's all documented on TikTok. Her clients turn over their credit card, they leave their home, and they have no idea what they will return to. Well, let's find out her secret from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Please welcome Gailey Alex Gravenstein. Thank you so much, Gailey. Congratulations on all this success you've had. Thank you. And you too. Oh. I, uh, I'm so honored and thrilled to be here. Well, listen, I first I'm checking out the kitchen because I'm that's the first room in the house I check out if I can is the kitchen. I love the kitchen here. I love the back tile. I think that's what it's called. Beautiful white there. Now you've done what is it, 80 spaces, one of which was a bachelor in Miami. That particular makeover got 20 million views on TikTok. Um, why did this one hit a nerve? What was it about this one? You know, I, I think that the majority of people, you know, are living in smaller spaces like apartments. And I think a lot of times when people look at design websites, they see these almost unrealistic mansions that are huge and they look beautiful. And it's easy to do that when you have amazing bones to the space. But when you're in a little apartment with low ceilings and tiny windows and you have to make it look like a million bucks, that's what I think really attracted people to that video because it was really small and the ceilings were uniquely low. And I tried to find a way to make it feel like an expensive New York loft, even though it was a tiny one bed, one bath. Okay, so before we get to some of the things you did, which include the living room, you take the keys. You take the credit card. I was just talking to Ryan Seacrest, and he's like, okay, I get the keys, but the credit card, I don't know. They give you the credit card, they give you the keys, and then they leave the house. That's a lot of trust. It is, it's a lot of trust. And I think something that is going for me is that I work in finance Monday to Friday for a, a Wall Street-based firm. So I, I think people are feel comfortable trusting me with their finances and making prudent decisions. And so they know I'm going to be very budget aware and sensitive okay. and I try to stretch the dollar. Is it just, you have the eye? Did you study for this? That, that is a great question. And I, I, this is why I feel like I have imposter syndrome. Like I don't even feel like I deserve to be here sometimes because I, I have no background. I don't even have a Pinterest account. I've never studied design. I don't look at magazines. It's just, I, ever since I was little, I walk into a space and the space kind of tells me what to do. And it tells me when things aren't right. And this is probably like a 20 year battle I've had with my mom. Because when I was little, every time I would walk through her kitchen, I would move things around where they needed to be because it was right in my head. And she would be like, stop touching my things. This is my kitchen. <laughs> and uh, now, now she appreciates it. And I, I even so did a makeover like a for her. So you're like a space whisperer. You know, they have the horse whisperer. You're the, you go in and the space tells you what it needs. There's this penthouse um, that you did. It had nothing but a TV on the wall. First of all, I'm intrigued by anyone who has a penthouse and you just have a TV on the wall. But okay, yeah. this person had a penthouse with a TV. This is the before and nothing else in this. And this is the after. It turns this room into a warm, livable space. What part of that room are you most proud of? Uh, the decision to do something softer on the floors. So mm -hmm. this particular uh, friend of mine, he's renting, he doesn't own it. So I couldn't really do anything structural and um, permanent. And so what I decided was to warm up the space. I needed to get texture on the floor and make it cozy for him to walk without shoes on. And so I actually hand laid that carpet myself with individual squares that I connected. So you still have a border of tile around it, which you can't really see, but that was the game changer for this room. I gotta unpack this for a second. I cannot imagine just trusting someone to just remake my home that they would match my needs and have the taste or the things that I want, to be honest with you. How did you muster up the trust? Gailey and I were acquaintances and I was following her on Instagram and that's when she was living back and forth between Florida and Connecticut. And I was watching her videos while she would transfer these rooms in her Connecticut home. And I was just in awe every time I saw a video, the, the colors, the textures, the styles, it was warm, it was cozy, it was everything that I would love in my own house. But were you nervous when you left the house? I mean, you give her the keys, were you, you know, were you trying to peek through the windows to see what she was doing? Were you asking for picture updates while she was doing it? 
Yeah, we left the house for a few days and I was definitely texting her and I was nervous, but we were so excited and we did not look at one thing that she bought. There was boxes in the corner of the house for a few weeks and we did not peek and we did not look. But yes, as we walked up to the door, our, my heart was beating like okay. out of my chest. My heart is beating now because I've not seen the results of her work. Let's take a look. So Gailey, we have a picture of Carrie's space. I see a lot of design was circular that you changed there. Tell me a little bit about the before and the after here. Yeah, so they have a really high ceiling that was just an eyesore. And so I, I added texture to the wall and you can't see it, but those those woven circles go up the wall. Wow. So it just, it makes the, the ceiling not feel like such an empty space, but it still keeps it cozy and coastal. And then you can't see it, but I actually added a fireplace on a wall that had no fireplace. So it's not a real working fireplace, but it's actually like pulled out from the wall and it's shiplapped all the way up to the ceiling. So that also helped bring your eye up. You added a fire, I mean, I, I'm, I'm blown away by the fact you have no formal design training. And here you are getting the keys to someone's house and you're adding, a, you're not just saying I'm gonna put a lamp or a picture, like let me build a fireplace in your house. I'm ripping down walls and ah. I, I'm, you know, the best part is that like she didn't know if her living room was going to become a dining room or vice versa. I mean, they don't, they literally don't even know what rooms I'm doing. So it's a complete surprise for them. And honestly, it's, it's very adrenaline in inducing for me, but I love it. And I, I love Clearly. the feeling. Of I want to talk about the breakfast nook. I said, I have obsessed over kitchens. I've always wanted a home with a breakfast nook. It just reads family to me. This was the little area before. Let's see the after. Oh, you changed even the, the, the shape of the table. Yes. So, you know, I think a breakfast nook has the space best utilized if you can do built-ins. So if you do built-in seating, you can literally fit eight more people there than if you just did a normal square table, especially if you have kids. And they have two little boys. And so I knew that this would be a great spot for birthday parties and dinners if they had a lot of guests. I like you use the square table, an underused shape of table. We always think circle or rectangular, the square table. I love that choice. Thank you. <laughs> well, congratulations on all the success, Gailey. Beautiful place, Carrie. When we can visit, I'll make sure I stop by. <laughs> Thank you for joining us to talk about yeah. it.